In this presentation we will learn how to create a trend. A trend is a handy way to track a change in something like a room temperature over time. Here's an example of a trend shown as a graph. Notice the timeline at the bottom of the graph indicating when the temperature sample was taken. Now look to the left where we can see the temperature value scale. The dots on the graph are temperature samples connected by a line to form the graph. There are a variety of graph styles available using tools on the screen. Hovering over a trend sample causes a little pop-up box to come up giving the date, the time, and the temperature for that particular item. A trend on an item does not exist until you create a trend for that item. Let's say we want to create a trend record of the temperature in the library from now on so we can open the trend in the future and see what the temperature was at any time of the day or night for any day since we started the trend. Let's set up a trend for the temperature in the library. In the navigation pane on the left we need to locate the temperature we want to trend. Use your computer mouse to select and drag the temperature to the right hand pane where we can view it. We will get the, the library temperature sensor. With the library temperature now in the right hand pane, notice the series of tabs across the top of the screen. A trend already exists if there is a tab with the title Trend present. We don't see a Trend tab because we have not yet created a trend for the library. To create or set up a trend, we need to right click on the upper title bar. When we do, a drop down menu appears. Go to the last item on the list, Show Extensions and select it. This opens a wizard with a number of choices. We want to select the New button for Trends. This opens a window where we can select the Next button and this opens up the Configure window. In the Configure window we will set up how the trend will function. There are many variations and choices available as to how we want a trend to work. The help system can help you with details. In the configure window, we can name the trend whatever we would like. You may even use a description in the description box. The log enable area must be set for true in order for the trend to function. We will leave most of the settings in this window alone. However, notice the sample interval area. This is where we'll tell the trend how often to obtain a sample temperature. In our case, the sample rate is to take a temperature sample once every 600 seconds or every 10 minutes. You can change that if you like. I will stay with the 10 minute sample rate. Also in this area is a section called Repository Enabled. We will change that from False to True. This will enable the trend to store all of our temperature readings for future recall. That will allow us to recall temperatures from the first day the trend was created. We may want to recall trended temperatures years from now. Now we can click the Next button. This brings us to the Summary screen and there is nothing we need to do here so we can click the Finish button. The extension widget comes up again and gives us a chance to put on another trend. We're going to click Done. We have now created a temperature trend for the library. We need to refresh the screen first so we can see the new trend tab. Right clicking on the top of the screen and going down to refresh all tabs refreshes the tab and gives us our trend tab at the top of the screen. Now if we want to see a graph of our trended temperatures for the library all we have to do is select the trend tab. Since we just made this trend don't expect to see any temperatures or even a graph until enough time goes by. Remember, we need to wait 600 seconds or 10 minutes for our first reading and then 10 minutes between readings after that. For additional training on Metasys, contact your local Johnson branch and ask for course number 388, Metasys System Extended Architecture for Building Operators. You can also visit our training website at www.johnsoncontrols.com institute to see the current catalog of the many high-quality building automation, facilities maintenance, and energy efficiency training courses offered by our certified instructors. Classes can be held at one of our national institutes